Hello guys, it's up Shadow here. Welcome back to some more of Divinity Original Sin 2. So, we are still in the Queen's dungeon. No, that sounds wrong. Um, in the Queen's hideout. But we'll leave immediately because I don't think we have anything more to do down there. And now we shall... Oh, wait, do we have to go through all the traps again? Oh, no, we opened the door, obviously. Uh, what I would like to do now is to exit these sewers because I think we pretty much got everything solved down here so we're gonna go over here up this ladder into the other room and we'll get ourselves the uh, the waypoint out now oh jeez I forgot they need to walk through webbing oh, <laughs> you bag of idiots um, what we'll do um, after this is we'll go to the vault once more because otherwise I will forget about it and Try to place down that painting that we now got the magic super mega awesome painting the statue reaches to the bottom uh, We'll have to go to Kemp's garden. I think yes uh, Yes, there we go I want to see what happens if we place that thing there. If it will maybe open a secret chamber or something. Now, obviously, we'll have to ensure that the painting is on Sibyl, first and foremost. Right now, I think it's on the Red Prince. There it is, an unusual painting. Let's give it to Sibyl. And she obviously will have to sneak through again, because this is, uh, you know, the big ones here. We're having a, a walking around party. And we don't want to fight these guys. We figured that out already. They're pretty much... Uh, un uh, what? I think they were unkillable, I believe. Swoop! Going in for the risky dive there. <laughs> yes, there it was. This is where the painting was. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, sneaking failed, but I didn't attack. That was lucky. That was very lucky. I thought they would just go right in for me there. Let's see. The spirit of a painting hovers where the painting itself once stood. The second passion of Lucian, you presume. Complete the triptych. You return the real second passion of Lucian to its rightful place. A triptych. I think this is like a, a triple... It, it's, it's some religious triple painting thing, right? Ah, yes! Whoa! What is that? Show me what you got! <laughs> no. Um, well! Well, well, well! What can I say? Oh, ka -ching. Well, I actually... It's something. Ooh, it, what? It even goes further? Gee. Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, you don't care, do you? Ruvola. It has a thousand magic armor. Hmm. Okay. Five intelligence. <gasps> oh, we can just give it to her? Really? Okay. Magic teleportation, I guess. I mean... Yes, we'll lose one Hydra Soffit and two Aeroturge, but five intelligence, I think, will... Let's see, 1140 damage. Yeah, it, it, it is more damage this way. Holy crap, it gives us two summoning, too. And a lot more, well, physical armor as well, and magic armor. And I believe HP as well. Yeah, jeez, that's an upgrade. <laughs> nice. What else? Giant poison vial, giant diamond. Oh, yeah, we'll nick, the, find. we'll nick the painting, of course. Responsibility. Examine. Okay, not special. It's called responsibility. Uh, yes, indeed. Single piece of gold. Books. Oh, what is that? Living? Ah, oh, living on the edge. That's a necromancer skill, yeah. And what else? Bark at the rune of rune sizes. Oh, what? Six new recipes? What? Oh, we got the medium runes now. 
can make these with pixie dust, apparently. I see. And pixie dust is made from bone dust and stardust. Ah. Not gold dust, though. Nobody likes gold dust. Um. Lucky find. Um. <laughs> now, I have a tiny bit of a problem here. Uh, we will not be able to get our other guys over here. For obvious reasons. Shadow infusion. Incarnates learn how to go in. Ooh. Ooh. That's new. That's exciting. We might want to actually put that in our... Um oh, no, no, no. Oh, God. I think I just prevented a disaster. Yeah. Escape. Uh, good thing that escape... Uh Prevents movement, otherwise uh, Kali would have uh, run a little uh, marathon. <laughs> Ooh. I cannot take this painting. Also, I cannot take the giant gold statue, which um, it's kind of bad that I cannot take that. But okay, fine game. I guess uh, you won't, don't want me to get rich. <clears throat> okay, let's descend. I. I have a bad feeling. I have a very bad feeling. Oof, I don't like I don't know if I like this. There's a hidden altar in Kim's vault, an altar to the go Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh that does not bode well. That is the God King. A dagger of pain shoots through your head, halting your advance instantly. You hear a voice, soft and calm, yet laced with disappointment. Such a long journey you have undertaken in the service of thieving charlatans, in pursuit of that which you will never obtain. A long, sad sigh reaches you from the depths of the void itself. <sighs> This is your last chance. Abandon this folly. Leave and never return. This is not good. I would like to leave, but honestly, since we can't save and reload, I will see what happens. Who am I speaking to? <laughs> I am the past. I will be the future. I am the God King. You are but a misguided servant. Heed my words and leave. I do not wish you harm unless you force my hand. Why do you have a shrine down here? Because my followers are many. My followers are everywhere. Your endeavors are pointless. The voice fades away, and with it, the pain. Okay, so Kem is in leagues with the, the God King. Oh, that, oh God, that makes things so much more complicated. Because that means the, the Magisters might not be the ultimate evil that we thought they were. The, the Paladins might have just, uh, or Kem mainly, might have just planted things, you know, seed out these, these seedlings of deceit everywhere. Oh, Jesus. Only the God King knows the weight of responsibility. Okay, that is really concerning. Oh, God. Okay, that is kind of terrifying, to be honest. What do we do with this information? I mean, honestly, what do we do with that? C do we confront Kem? I, I don't know if that's a smart plan. If he's in league with the God King, then he is obviously, he knows that we are enemies and he will fight us. Now, what I don't know is, A, are there many paladins under the uh, servant service of the God King? And two, 
if the if Kem decides to fight us, will the paladins kind of recognize that he is an evil, evil bastard? Or will they turn with him against us just from a for us from a sense of duty? Oh God! I don't know what to do. Um, Jesus Christ! Ah, this is yeah, this is bad. This is very bad. I mean, we could try to see what happens if we actually face. Um, what? Are you freaking kidding me? This cannot be real. <laughs> no, okay, this is no. What? Everybody has turned against us now. What in the holy hell? Um, okay? What does this mean? Now is not the time for that. Okay, I have a little experiment. Hold on. Hold on. I I mean that must have been the God King's doing, right? Although is the God King that powerful? Hold on. Okay. Oh, well, that's not what I wanted the elf to do. Gives you a slow cut. Clap, clap, clap. What? The evil Isbail is dead. The doctor will see you now. Oh, <laughs> the doctor, you say? Where is that doctor? Permit me to mark it on your map. Do not tarry. He urgently desires to speak with the great red prince. All right, tell your master we'll be coming. The elf bows his head in thanks. You turn away. That's another very interesting development. Holy crap, everything is kind of... Now, things are falling into place, and... Some of these things I'm not sure I'm ready for. Okay, let me see. Let me just try to confirm this A theory. A of pain shoots through your head, halting your advance instantly. Because... It might be the God King that makes everything go evil, basically. You hear a voice, soft, soft. along. <sighs> I am the, the voice. Okay. Everything's still fine. I mean, you cannot tell me that that was a bug, right? Or is it maybe Sibyl that is the problem? Is Sibyl now hostile to everybody? That would also be a very interesting thing. <laughs> we would have to then kind of sneak around, you know? Okay. Everything's still fine. Let's try walking, instead of teleporting. Because right now, still everything seems to be alright. Um, there is no hostiles whatsoever. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's Sibyl. Is it st but it, it's the paladins, right? It's the paladins that are pissed at her. 
So, but that must be right before she talks to the God King, yes? Oh, that is confusing. The thing is, we don't really get anything from talking to that statue, don't we? So, technically speaking, we can't just, with the knowledge of the God King being there, we can't just return. Now that, but that is interesting. That the the game basically tells you if you do that, you're you're basically you're fucked. You're destroying your character's ability to go anywhere in this city. That is very curious. I almost like it in some sense, but it is very very harsh. Okay, he's walking another way. Good. I mean. It's either that, or maybe, maybe she's already hated. I don't know, to be honest. I couldn't tell you. We'll figure it out. What is going on? Why is everybody hating on Sibyl? That is very curious. No, wait, why is he angry now? What is going on? I don't understand. What has Sibyl done? Alright, so now what we'll try to achieve is to figure out if... If maybe I have done something else with Sibyl that made everybody angry and I haven't figured it out yet. And if that is so, then we have to kind of accept that Sibyl is now a... How do you say that? A persona non grata, I think is the, the word? Like a, a person that is like beyond saving and just... What the hell? Okay, Sibyl must have done something that really pisses off people. That is very curious. <laughs> And that will lead to trouble. <laughs> oh shit, how we're gonna do this? Okay, okay, this is... I'm sorry, but I have to test this. Is just the fact that we have entered the vault with her, is that just enough? You know, we, we got seen by that one gargoyle, right? Uh, or that, that one statue. We got seen. It, it broke stealth. Was that enough to, to basically mark her as a... like a thief? I wonder. This is so, so curious right now. I cannot quite figure out what the... the problem is here, but we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out eventually. Okay, here's the big test. The statue reaches... the bottom drops out. Okay, apparently Sibyl has done something that is beyond redemption. I would like to know what it is, though. Because that basically means one of our characters is not able to do anything uh, anymore in that city. She's completely unable to, to move. That is a problem. That is a big, big, big problem. So it's not the God King that caused this. It must have been something... I mean... It must have been before we entered the sewers, obviously. Right? But or rather it must be between entering the sewers. Uh, the voice fades away. And I I I really don't know. I I I'm I'm, I'm stunned. I don't know what the problem is. Can we can we figure this out somehow? Is there a way to figure this out? Dialogues. Um No, I don't I really don't know. I, <laughs> I don't know what to do, guys. I <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm lost here. I'm completely lost. I... I'm not... I, I don't know if this is redeemable now. We might have completely fucked over our game here. Perhaps. Now, the others seem to be able to move freely. That is... Seriously, I don't know what I did. Is there really no way how to to figure that out? I mean, yeah, she's an outlaw, but that's not it. Okay, um, can we... I just need to check something. Hold on. Where are you? There we go. Can we teleport stealthily? We could. The statue in, reaches towards in theory, the we could teleport around stealthing. But it is very, very... It, it's terribly, terribly difficult, honestly. I, I don't know what to do, guys. Um, because we, we do need Sibyl. We definitely need her. Sooner or later. Um, or has she done some weird crime that we're not aware of? But yeah. Where are you hiding? Anyways, I'm gonna talk to Lord Kem now. Let's see if we can confront him. I would just wonder if we could. What is it now? Goodbye. Oh, you cannot even... Wow, okay. You cannot even try to confront him here. Right. So, we'll try to go in this direction. Was that the wolf? Jesus Christ. We'll go in this direction and uh, we'll see if there's anything interesting down here that we haven't checked out yet. I mean, there's a lot of stuff down here. What is that? Some sort of Chester thingy. Looks weird. There's a house. Oh, it's locked. Well, not this part. O okay. Apparently, this is completely fine to take. Curious? Or is it maybe an, an item? Um, hmm. Been a while since any new students were registered here. Oh, it's a school then. Not it's, that this comes as any surprise. Just look at the place. <laughs> I mean, is, is, is Sibyl carrying something that makes her, just about enough of it. you know, a thousand apologies. makes her I'm suspicious? Just end, is all. What is this? Ark's schoolhouse, apparently. This place is already overrun with addicts and orphans, and now I've got to deal with, what, a candied salamander? The woman shakes her head and sighs. I should stop caring so much. But the kids shouldn't suffer. They don't deserve this void-infested hellhole we're handing to them. Yeah, you're right. She swats your hand away with a harumph. Tough, yes. And they don't get any better if I talk about things I'd rather forget. Sidle on, on up... What? Si sidle? What is that? Sidle on up to her. Get real close. You can trust little old you. Well, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to talk about things a little. This place. It used to be a school. My husband Griff and I, we taught the local kids what we could. History, politics, writing, reading. A little cooking, a little alchemy. The parents paid what they could. It was Griff. Nice. Not that Griff that I have in mind, right? Now it's... It's this. I'm stuck scrubbing Lady Kem's filthy floors in exchange for coin most days. And I don't have the energy to shoo away the junkies that wander in. Seriously? You are the wife of Camp Boss Griff? What? You know him. Is he... Was he holding up okay? 
shall we tell her the truth? Because he was a tyrant. I mean, he was. He was not a nice man. He didn't help us, really. In my other save, he tried. He um, ordered an assassination on another sorcerer because he stole something from him. No, no. You must be thinking of someone else. My Griff is a gentle soul. He believes in the kids. He made this school what it what it was. <sighs> Should we take care of the addicts? I've tried chewing them off, but to no avail. I swear, if Griff were here, he'd have this place cleaned up in no time. If the squatters were gone, I could start fresh. Scour the place down, get the school going again. Get out from under Lady Kem's posh thumb. I can, we'll see what we can do. I don't want to kill him, necessarily. Well, I wouldn't refuse your help. If Griff can't be here, maybe you're the next best thing. Beryl hums a few random notes, just a few. But in those notes, you discern a crumb of hope. All right, let's uh, give that lady something to be hopeful about, I guess. Sister Shuri. He will guide us there to the Star Hall. The what? Carry you. What is this woman talking about? All right, let's see if we can reason with her. We cannot really uh, enter that other door because it's locked and we don't have uh, dear old Sibyl with us. Seriously, this is going to be a huge problem, I tell you. Hello. Well, school's out, I dare say. Skulls out for summer. Sorry. Look over there, shiny light. Do you see them? The mist steps. Each one is an echo of Lucian's dreams. Pray be his. They lead through the silver puffs and into the hall. Shiny lights. Do you want to kill my shiny lights? <laughs> Getting weird callbacks now to all the stuff. She bows towards nothing in particular and fingers the collar of her priestly garb, then looks at you with dark, sunken eyes. Yeah, you're you're high, mate. I am blessed, Red Sunburst, by Drudene and divinity. I glide on Lucian's breath and feed on his sighs and smiles. For him, I would walk the path of blood. He needs only sing the command. Okay, go! I'm not like the Cat Lord, our Hulu. He slinks around and under and over and inside. He would skim the path and miss the blood. The priest raises her head and screams to the ceiling. Lucian, my wings are ready. I will flap and flit flop when your words go blue. Our Hulu does not deserve your warm. <laughs> what the hell? Who is Arhulu? Is that Arhu? I hear he avoids Lucian's tough maker, the path of blood. He is a defiler of Lucian's will, Shine Beast. The crypt waits for only divine, devout, devoted. It is not an easy make trial. Bypass the blood and Lucian brings the rumble. Skyquakes across the heavens. What Lucian said. Punishment for the easy walk. The priest waves her arms through the air, drawing your attention to these non-existent skyquakes. Is she saying that Ahu knows a way around the path of blood? That's interesting. Is that what the puppet maker told us? That weird... This was like a switch on one of the um, statues, I believe. Shoo away. Yeah, go. She traces a circle on the floor with her left foot, then shakes her head. You're stymied by the foot gesture, but the head shake is more than clear. Put your arms around her. She needs to go somewhere and rest. The, dr the drudani has been too much. Yeah, obviously. Yes. yes. I hear the breeze, but I can't feel it on my hand skin. I must go and sleep. If Lucian wills it, he will wait. Sure. All right. I hope you, yeah, yeah, I hope you take your fiends with you. School's out. We convinced Sister Shori to leave. Oh, do we have to convince everybody? Ah, uh, no, apparently she takes her whole posse with her. 
And gone she is. Nice. Job's well done then. I feel for her. This is really cruel so, now. How's the addict eviction going? They're gone. Is that wait, really? They're gone. Yeah, we didn't have to kill them, isn't that nice? That's good news. Maybe our hard work wasn't all for nothing then. Is there anything I can do to show my thanks? Information is power, so give it to us. She pauses and tightens her lips. A moment passes, and then another. She smiles. Well, at the risk of saying something I shouldn't, that whole mansion is weird. She sits in that drawing room serving tea all day. As for him, well, he doesn't even sleep in the same room as his wife. Hmm. He has his own bedroom, does Kem, and it's always locked. He's got secrets, you see. Trap doors and ladders. Where they lead, I don't know. But his wife knows nothing about them. In his anyway, mansion. Anyway, you've certainly been a breath of fresh air. You're no Griff, but it's been good having you around. You know, that really fucks me up. That she has this view of Griff that is so completely different to ours. That's... I love this game for that. That it kind of... You know, these characters that you think you will never really meet them again. Or they will not have an impact on your journey. You know, technically... Um, Griff didn't have an impact on this story right now, but he has connections. They pop up everywhere, you know, these connections to old characters, be it a soldier that was on guard on Fort Joy and you meet his mother, or something like that. This is so beautiful. But yeah, um, we really have to figure out what we need to do here. There's a few more houses that we want to check out next time, and I mean, yeah, the Sibyl situation if we want to go into the path of plot, we either have to hope for a waypoint that we can teleport, teleport to build to us, or we have to kind of sneak through the city, like Solid Snake style, you know? Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Also, guys, if you know what's a Sibyl did wrong to deserve this, uh, let me know. All right, uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.